The population on Middleville has been growing at a constant rate since the year 2000. Its growth since the year 2000 can be modeled using the linear function m of t equals 850t plus 11,500, where m of t represents the population t years since the year 2000. During the same time period, Littleville has been growing in parallel at the exact same constant rate and in 2006 had a population of 13,625. The first question we want to determine the linear function that represents the growth of Littleville since the year 2000. We want to use L of t to represent the population t years since the year 2000. Let's begin by looking at all the given information. We first know that growth of Middleville can be modeled using this linear function in slope-intercept form. So notice how m, the slope, equals 850, which means the constant growth rate is 850 people per year. So for Middleville, we know the slope m equals 850. And then b, the vertical intercept, is equal to 11,500, which should be the ordered pair 0, 11,500, which means in the year 2000, since t equals 0, represents the year 2000, the population was 11,500. Now for Littleville, we're told that it's growing in parallel at the exact same constant rate, which means the slope, or the constant rate of change, is also 850, or 850 people per year. And then we're told that in the year 2006, which notices six years after the year 2000, the population was 13,625. So as an ordered pair, this would be the point six comma 13,625. So notice how to find the equation that models the growth of Littleville. We already have the slope, but we still have to find the vertical intercept B. To do this, we need to find the population for the year 2000. There's a couple of ways of doing this. Using a linear function, we know that L of t, the population of Littleville, is equal to the slope 850, times t plus b. So now we could use this ordered pair, substitute six for t and 13,625 for l of t, and then solve for b. Let's go ahead and do this. So we'd have 13,625 equals 850 times six plus b. So 13,625 equals 850 times six, which is 5,100 plus b. Subtracting 5,100 on both sides, we have b, the vertical intercept, equals 8,525. Which means our linear function L of t equals 850 t plus 8,000 525. And just to make the connection here, it also tells us the ordered pair, zero comma 8,525 would satisfy our linear function. So again, this is the first part of our question, 850t plus 8,525. Now I do want to show another way that we could have found the population when t equals zero of the population of the year 2000. We knew the population in the year 2006 was 13,625. If it's growing at a rate of 850 people per year, if we wanted to go back six years to the year 2000, we could subtract six times 850 and get the same result of 8,525. Let's go ahead and show that. 13,625 minus six times 850 gives us the same result of 8,525 for the vertical intercept, which is the population in the year 2000. Now the second part of this question, we're asked to use our models and find the population for both towns in the year 2020. We need to be a little careful here. We're not going to use 2020 for the value of t. Remember, t equals zero represents the year 2000. And since 2020 is 20 years after the year 2000, we want to find the value of m of 20 as well as the value of l of 20. 
if we're ever not sure what value of t to use, we can always take the desired year, in this case 2020, and subtract out the base year, which was the year 2000, or the starting year, which will give us the value of t. So for m of 20, we'd have 850 times 20 plus 11,500. And for l of 20, we'd have 850 times 20 plus 8,525. And let's go back to the calculator. So 850 times 20 plus 11,500 gives us the population of Middleton in the year 2020. And then for Littleville, we'd have 850 times 20 plus 8,525. So the population for Littleville would be 25,525. So again, we have 28,500 here, and we have 25,525 for Littleville. I hope you found this helpful.